I'm sure there's some people that's watching that are already in it, and they they kind of want to understand or get a better understanding of like what to look for and like um, on a horse mm -hmm. or or a dog. Like, what are the variables that you you look at? Hey, what's good, guys? Welcome back to the Art of Development podcast. How you guys doing? It's been a while. It's been it's been quite a while. Well, I hope you guys are in, uh, in uh, comfortable right now because we are in for a treat. For someone like, like totally different than uh, I would uh, expected to to interview today. Um, he is a professional tipper, and he is the owner of Campbell's Gambles, and he is Jason. What's your last name? That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> That's <in> Campbell. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> how you doing, bro? Good, bro. How you going? I'm doing fantastic, man. It's been, it's been a while. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this, is, this is actually the first time we've actually met. I've, I've, I've spoken to him uh, on the phone and everything. He's a very interesting bloke. A very intrigues my brains for the reason being. Um, not many people do a lot of... Uh, uh, do the thing that he's doing at his age. And how old are you again, bro? Uh, 19. <laughs> <laughs> always, always gets me how like how old you are because there's there's not many people that like are doing you know what they want yeah. at the age of 19 or running their own business really yeah. and this is just the start, start for you bro you know what i mean yeah, this could this could be something you know it could be just a little stepping stone to where you want to be right now and then next thing you know you're going to be fucking running like a 10 billion millionaire <laughs> fucking uh entrepreneur business you know what i mean yeah of course but yeah was, tell me about it bro how's how's the how's the races and all that kind of stuff and all um and, and during the covid and all that kind of things is it has it been a challenge uh surprisingly not surprisingly um it's been really steady yeah um we've actually gone pretty well through it i thought the races would get suspended because um NRL AFL yeah i would sports, assume so NBA, they just basically got suspended straight away so yeah. i really thought races were gone but yeah. um i thought like you know three month break yeah hooray <laughs> yeah bit of a break because it's a lot of repetition throughout races yeah i would imagine time and especially the amount of research you yeah, go through so, um, and all that kind of stuff i was kind of looking forward for a break to freshen up and bring new ideas and to the to the platform but um yeah we've uh persevered throughout it and mm. uh it's been a good thing to be making um good money and the business is slowly starting to take off interesting yeah. so for the people that are watching right now um and are not really aware about what he does uh jason pretty much uh researches um like you know uh races for for horses and 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 dogs the the greyhounds and all is greyhounds no that's illegal right <laughs> is, it, uh, is greyhounds illegal is that is that I a just thing Oh, right, right, right. That's I mean, they had the hand. <laughs> 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 well, yeah, he does all that kind of stuff and s sends out his tips. And it intrigues me. I didn't even know this was even a business. So that's why. So do you, do, when you do this, bro, like, are you constantly researching every single day about these, these tips and whatnot and trying to, you know, uh, provide uh, the people that are, like, you know, your clients and all that, like, really good uh research and, yeah. and tips and whatnot yeah well you know my job is to provide my clients my client base the best research and the best service possible um, right hopefully go above and beyond other services out there because there's a lot of competitors and it's very competitive right. industry so um i wouldn't say i'm watching the races 24 7 right obviously if anything you do you have to keep up to date with it and of course really strict with yourself to continue wanting it yeah and um no similar to horse racing and uh so yeah, it's it's not daily, but you obviously have to keep up daily and of course go through the races yeah. and check the results and um, take notes down from what you learnt from the day. So. Interesting. So how uh, how many people are like you know in, how many clients do you have now? Um, it varies from week to week. Obviously, right. if you don't win, people oh, don't okay. come back. So, so, so um, is it like a subscription kind yeah, of it's kind a subscription of subscription based um, right portal? I'd say so. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously try and get as many people as you can, but yeah you know but it varies depending obviously if you win the yeah. more people jump on the bandwagon if you lose they jump off so yeah it's really volatile in that sense right so did you start when you were 18 and whatnot yeah 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 <laughs> let's just go yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's yeah, yeah. Let's started um yeah yeah i just started this out last year around this time last year when i, yeah. first, when I turned 18 so um it's been going for a year and uh it's slowly picking up now how'd you how'd you even get into it bro um well basically my mum 
used to always let me jig school. Right. So <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> we used to have like a bit of a family tradition with her. Right. Where I'd go and um, watch the Melbourne Cup. Okay, cool. Basically, yeah, yeah. every year from the age where I was like eight. Onwards. Oh, you actually go to Melbourne Cup? Oh, no, 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 oh, just, just watch I just, just watch, watch it. Okay. TV. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You know, she let me do that and that basically got my love of horse racing. And yeah, I've always right. loved predicting stuff. Of course. So, um, basically, I just sort of meshed the two together. And then um, yeah. once I... I had a few medical issues, so I had to uh, drop out of school. Right. So um, I actually got diagnosed with Crohn's disease, so mm. it's an um, inflammatory uh, bowel disease. Right. So that happened, so that sort of rocked my world a little bit. And how it sort of um, and it impacted you? Yeah. Uh, well, like very to, um, like in the like mentally oh, as mentally well. Mentally was a big part. Like mm. mentally, obviously, when you go through anything, you obviously course, gotta have bad anxiety, depression, stuff like that. So yeah. I'm not gonna lie to myself. I was going through. A More t- so mentally than physically. It was um, hurting me because obviously I had to drop out of school. Of I was course. going well in in year 11. I was, mm. you know, looking forward to getting my HSC, going to uni, like sort of like living a normal life. No, normal life, yeah. So, right. um, you know, I was working part-time. Red mm. Rooster, first job. Um, Red, yeah, shout out to Red Rooster. Shout out to Red Rooster. <laughs> 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 yeah. um, so I was doing that, playing cricket, doing everything I enjoyed, sport, physical, and then, you know, just out of nowhere, I just got this... Uh, mm basically lifelong disease with no cure so right. basically been living with that and um how's that going it's right. going good yeah yeah because yeah? cool. you know there's 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 treatment there's medication that can take that's keeping it stable yeah but, that's um, good everything's going good with that now yeah um has ha- how's has your ment uh your mental state like mental now? state's improved as soon as i was able to accept it and come out and tell people yeah because more i was more scared i was more worried about i was feeling really insecure and is it more was, of the judgment of other people yeah, basically and i didn't want people to treat me any differently because mm. you know anything like you know i don't know you lose a two for like you mm, class of course, the first time mm. braces you think oh you know people got to treat me differently because i got this or that yeah so i was i was more so worried about that like physically i felt pretty shit like straight up right um mentally was the worst part but yeah. um as soon as i accepted it yeah yeah how'd you how'd you come into terms of um accepting what you had bro because that's quite a challenge for especially being a youngin yeah. as well <laughs> you um, know what i mean like it, it expe- like you know going through the t te- like the adolescent stage you know yeah. judgment of others is such a big thing yeah bro. of course so oh, i just i think just life got to that point where there was two di- there's two paths two mm. directions where i could have went i could have went down the bad path and sort of just you know just like hit under a rock for the rest of my life and yeah just, you know, anything could have happened and that's, yeah. that's, I don't, really, don't even want to talk about that, but yeah. I don't know what it was exactly, but for some reason I just chose to go the other way and, um, you know, I just had an idea of what to do and, you know, I'm like, well, I'm not going to live a normal life. I'm yeah, not going to go sure. to university. Yeah. I'm not going to have the opportunity again get ATAR. I'm not going to have an opportunity to be my friends. You know, mm. I've got to think of something, got to fight for myself. And, um, yeah, I thought this was the best thing. I put my two passions together, which is that's sick. statistics, predicting stuff and sport. And yeah. Horse racing found me. I'd say. Yeah, yeah. Here, but yeah. Hey, man, that's good. Yeah. Well, you're you're here now, yeah, and I appreciate that, bro. Yeah. And, and that's good. So, like, uh, when you were in school, was like a predictor. Like, you know, you know, you learn, you go uh, when you learn maths and yes. whatnot. Uh, you know that um, that subject, like predict, uh, fucking predicting <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? Yes. Were, were you good at that? Oh, like yeah, in I maths. Was, I always love. Like, we're doing right. gen maths as, as yeah, well. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I love that. I loved um. Love predicting uh, ratios, all these little yeah, small interesting, things like that. Um, you know, that's a, gambling's a big st- uh, statistics are a big part of gambling. So yeah, I've learned that through school, obviously. So I'll shout out to all the teachers out there that aren't watching. <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah, for sure, bro. But, uh, no, that's so good. So like th- during that time, did you use all that energy to you know build your business and whatnot? I wouldn't say so. Yeah, the business just came basically after that. But um, right. I don't know. I don't. I don't really know if there was a defining factor of where it came from. But, yeah. Um. Obviously, those times helped to yeah. where I am today. But um. Yeah, that's good, man. Yeah. So, have you had like a uh, very big sh- winning streak yet? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Winning streaks. Losing yeah. streaks. Losing streaks. You remember well, what, what, the losing streaks more, more winning than winning streaks. streaks? Yeah. What, what was your winning streaks like? Winning streaks. Uh, when I first started this out, um, I first started when I turned eighteen. I posted on. This uh, platform called Punt Hub, which really Punt Hub, yeah. helped me out. Um, is that where it all like? That's where it all started. That's where it right. all took off. Um, it's where all the other like you know just normal average men or basically females 
that just jump on that like is it a group date group group page? There, yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah <laughs> shout um, out to them bro like because like yeah. the, there's not many like females the in the group. yeah the one percent is out there man respect at the time i was in there there was about i'd say 25 to 30k damn and then um basically uh, i tipped five horses in a row mm. all that one at a good price and everyone just started jumping on the bandwagon no way i was getting donations coming in i was two people were telling me to come to their birthday parties coming to i actually went down That's to crazy, um crazy bro i've uh, got a really good friend called kyle so yeah shout, shout out to kyle, shout <laughs> out to kyle. Um, got a really good mad friend dog kyle. <laughs> so basically he's down in melbourne um he invited me down to uh his formal Oh no that way! Was, that <laughs> <was really laughs> That's such a random place yeah. to get invited to. Bro. Well, was, was it like he, the afters, or what? He no, he invited like, you as his partner or something. Mate, no, his partner, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So I was his partner, and everyone was looking at him like, "What the fuck's his back?" Um, <laughs> no. Um. Yeah. So so he um surprisingly he let a stranger into his house. So he's a bit of an idiot for doing that. But um, yeah, fair. I turned out to be a bit of a teddy bear. Um. Yeah. Probably one of the worst trips I've had in my life. Oh really? Um, funny story. <laughs> if we can just like. Come to the side here. Um, yeah, go for it, bro. Yeah. Go hard. So basically, the type, I hate flights. Big. Uh, I'm scared of fucking anything. So, yeah, um, yeah. So like, uh, like uh, going high uh, heights, flights, heights, yeah, anything, yeah. spiders, snakes. <laughs> scared of everything. Scared of life half the time. Damn, I should have known that before. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. So uh, we booked. He booked uh, flights down to Melbourne. Yeah, right. Down to his house. Um, but on that weekend in Sydney last year, it was the windiest weekend Sydney had recorded for that whole year. So no all the way. flights got um cancelled. So um. Yeah. Basically, I'm like, fuck, I really need to get down there because I was also hosting a Punt Hub event at 10 o'clock at Flemington that day, the next day of the race course. So I'm oh, like, damn. So there was like oh, 20, 30, 40 people out there to see me and just like, you know, yeah. get shirts and sell stuff off. I'm like, fuck, I need to get down there. Yeah, So yeah, I'm yeah. like, okay, plan B, you catch a train down there because... Like, how, how long's the how long's the train? I didn't ride? catch a train down there. Oh, okay. I didn't right, catch right, a train right. down there because everyone had that plan before me. So I was thinking, oh, I'm I'm the smartest person in the world. I just catch a train. So <laughs> the train was booked out. So I'm oh, like, okay, I'm pretty stupid. <laughs> so um, then I caught a bus down there. So I caught a bus down there. It was snowing. It was windy. It was terrible. We stopped in Canberra. It was about a one hour turnover, but it was about a fourteen hour bus trip. Yeah. Terrible. Damn. Terrible. Um, got to Melbourne. Felt alright. Met Kyle. Drove me back to his place. When I went to his bedroom around 10 o'clock, just like 10 o'clock in the morning, I was like, I can't fucking do this. Like, it was, I was so, <laughs> he actually, I got rushed to like the hospital basically when I was down there. Damn. Really funny story. Um, Ooh, and I got diagnosed head. with uh, bus lag. Bus, bus lag, lag. Is, that, is that a thing? Probably not, but that's what the nurse no, said what at the <laughs> time. <laughs> so, um, oh, the more you know. <laughs> so uh, she said, yeah, you're just dehydrated. So um, I couldn't actually, I went to the formal for like five, 10 minutes, but I didn't get to um, fully live it up to its potential. Right. His mother drove me back, so um, damn. And I just flew back the next day, so I missed out on um, racing and the formal. So I was weekend. So you didn't you didn't get to talk in front of those 30, 40 people at Flemington nah, race course. No, nah, it was very disappointing. Damn, <laughs> damn. Have you ever had that? Have you had that moment yet? Uh, Has that happened? Uh, no, nah, not not entirely. But nah? obviously was that the one time? That you was the one time. It wasn't really talking. It was more just like a more like a gathering with people that. I probably hadn't even heard of. They just wanted to, you know, see me and meet me and talk, pick my brain and whatnot. Yeah, right. But um, I don't know. Like every time I go to the races, you know, people do. Some people do come up and notice me and ask for photos and ask to pick yeah. my brain. But um, I don't know. I just there's not much I can really tell them because everything's out there for themselves. I don't really know as yeah. much as the other person really. Like right. Obviously, you gain knowledge through experience and time. Yeah, of course. But, um, that's how. I'm at where I'm at now because I just had that one year under my belt. Some people yeah. only had that, you know, 10 minutes under their belt. So yeah, straight no out. What they're doing, but, um, exactly. Yeah. Did you ever like uh, copy or like, you know, um, observe other um, tips and all that kind of stuff and yeah. see how they went and all that yeah. kind of, and then you established I think I think a big thing, thing is where you, you sort of got to stay grounded. Right. You sort of got to look at yourself as the lowest tier possible. That's how right. I like to look at it. Yeah. And people are above you. Yeah. And then you can, you know, sort of pick ideas off. Obviously not copy. Them yeah, of word course. For word just, or model. just model. Just Mo- model. Yeah. And then I like to, because every business has, they're doing something right at least. Right. Generally, of course. If they're not doing something right, then how are they still bloody running? 100%. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> so I obviously like to, you know, like I'm coming in here, like it's a really nice setup. Like if I, Thanks, man. Appreciate I, that. I, like I want to do 
a podcast coming up for spring racing. That's a big target of mine. So that like, is. Wait, when's that coming spring, up? Oh, spring. Oh, yeah, spring. spring yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 they tend to be like in the beginning or Winter. in the middle. No, uh, no, no, spring. Yeah, but, yeah no, but, just um, the yeah. whole of spring. Just okay, coming yeah. here and observing. Like, you know, if I was yeah, yeah. The podcast is really like mint set up. So, hey, um, man. If, if, you, if, if you need to do it, <laughs> you, you know, we got you, bro. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Obviously, you got to pick pick sign cap from each uh, business or, yeah, or whatever. So. For sure. And like when you do focus on research and all that kind of stuff, mm-hmm. how, how long does that take you like per day? Oh, uh, so basically I sort of limited myself down to Wednesdays and Saturdays. Wednesdays, it's a bit more of a smaller day because there's only generally two to three main tracks to focus on. Right. So that would be anywhere from about, pardon me. No, that's <laughs> um, all good. <laughs> um, seven to nine races. So there might be about yeah. um, 10 horses in each race. Yeah. Keep burping. No, sorry, um, it's, it's all the Pepsi, bro. It's all the Pepsi. <laughs> um, a bit bloated. Um, so yeah, that that's obviously maybe like uh, two, three, four hours, depends yeah. on how hard I work. And sometimes you don't go into every race because some races just way too open. Why even bother? But um, right, right. It, by by open, do you mean like the, the so com- com- chances, competition? You no, know, it's just like you say yeah. Bolt versus you say Bolt versus you say Bolt. Bolt you know, right, like right, right, right. In in that term, but yeah. um, Saturday is the big one. Saturdays Saturdays are very stressful. Like I'm, yeah. I'm really. Friday night around six o'clock is like the time I get to relax. Like Saturday is basically Wednesday, Wednesday to about Friday four or five o'clock is just like flat out Wednesday yeah. night to then Wednesday night uh, Thursday morning is just like little small reviews on little things and just getting things in check. Mm-hmm. And then Thursday is like Thursday afternoon to night is like the really big deep in depth like video research, research, research and yeah. getting into it. And then Friday is where I start writing out basically an essay because. The write outs I do are generally anywhere between three to four thousand words each right. week. So that is an essay, pretty basically much. Basically, I'm writing an essay each week. Yeah. So um. So what's that like? Is it like um? Is this is this on an email or something? Yeah, it's an email yeah. list, and basically, I try and do my best. You can't cover every race. It's way too many races. Yeah, it's like a hundred races in a day. It's impossible. Yeah, straight out. And there's so many other races so, like yeah, around everywhere, like there's, Australia and all yeah, that. Yeah, there's you know, but um, I try and give the best that I can as in like a Saturday guide for the people. So right. I try and spread out my bets in each different place around Australia. And I try and give them a guide of how I think the track's going to be played, what horses you need to profile to win the race and wow. whatnot. So that's that's my job, basically. Yeah, that sounds very detailed. Like, yeah. I didn't even like consider that the track is like, you know, oh, a factor. There's so many variables. Yeah, there's, so many variables. I don't know how many whatnot. variables there are, but there's easily over 100, 150. There's anywhere from like... You wouldn't even like think of it, but like wins, like a massive factor. Like, yeah, of course. If it's course. a win, if it's a headwind, you know, if the horse is running into it, they're running, you know, it's with against them or, it yeah, or anything whatever. Like that. But um, yeah, jockey, gate, class. Oh yeah, of so course, the jockey. Even like the slightest like yeah. kilo could be, you yeah, know, basically, yeah, could be a thing. So do you do you like personally know like uh, the people that's racing or anything, and they kind of give you some insight sometimes, yeah. or is it more of you know you're just uh, researching it on like fucking computer and like yeah. judging it from that. Well, obviously, I get that many. I get you know I'm data with text messages on oh, my horses racing because there's so many owners in horse racing. I don't think people realize. I didn't even realize until maybe even a couple of months ago. Right, that it's such a big industry and it takes up most of Australia. Right, I personally I think it's one of the biggest industries, sporting industries in Australia. Like, oh, easy, yeah. I reckon it's even. Bigger than the NRL and AFL. Oh, I hundred percent. It's taken place in every 100%. single community. It's yeah, for even sure. like you go WA, but like to the top end, there's still yeah. races in Broome and Geraldton yeah. up there. But um, I would assume so because that's, that's why there's just so much money yeah, into, into like, this industry. Yeah, that's probably a, another reason why they haven't stopped through COVID because right, if they yeah, stop, yeah. that's it. Like there goes economy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the economy would just drop because. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah, so many jobs. But um, obviously, I get so many, I get so much information from so many different sources. Yeah. But for me, I've obviously it's a trial and error game. So you got to mm. find something until it works. But then obviously you have to evolve because it doesn't work forever. Right. But um, well, that's what I've found. But yeah, I've tried to get outside sources in regards to like trainers or people within the horse owners yeah. to give me information. But I feel I work best is when it's just my own opinion. Right. Because I feel like I have a good enough knowledge on the horses in general. Yeah, to really yeah. judge. And, I'd, and I'd also, I don't want to be blaming anyone but myself. Of course. I'm, type, I'm, I'm, that, I'm that type of guy. So Yeah, yeah. Was that always like, like your integrity is like one of yeah. the things that you value yeah, the 100%, most? Yeah, yeah. So how do you like 
find out like if if I was to to get into it which I <laughs> don't don't <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure there's some people that's watching that are already in it and they they kind of un- want to understand or get a better understanding of like what to look for and like um on a horse mm-hmm. or or a dog like what are the variables that you you look at to to make sure like oh this 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 could be a good like yeah. uh, uh win or whatever oh i think the th- there's three to four main factors that i play in one of them obviously the most important one for me is visual yeah visual representation watching the races over and over again looking at traits of certain horses right same with dogs and anything some some dogs like outside boxes, some like inside. They run different ways. Of course. And as I was saying earlier when we were talking, like yeah. you know, animals are creatures of habits. When they do something yeah. once, they generally continue doing it over and over again. Yeah, for sure. So because they're they're wild, man. Like yeah, well, they're, wild. <laughs> they're, they're wild. They're once wild. At least they're crazy. <laughs> yeah, exactly, bro. Like you could only yeah. do so much with them. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's why um, uh, you gotta just you know do your research really well and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So in, in saying all that, all that kind of stuff, yeah. What, what's the what's the other oh, variables? The other ones yeah. are sectionals, so times out of the races, big Sec- thing for me. You'd Explain that. Section, or like basically sectionals are sectionals, so, so yeah, in yeah. sections basically. <laughs> yeah. yeah right. So two hundred meter splits of the race, so you go like eight hundred to six hundred, six hundred to four hundred, four hundred to two hundred, two hundred to the post. Wow. Okay. So there's like little increments What's, that you yeah. really got to hone in on. Yeah. And then that can tell you if a horse is racing at 1,200 meters, yeah. steps up to 1,600 meters, it was finishing off well at 1,200, it's better to get on 1,600. It's like if we're going for yeah. a running race. Okay. We, we both race over, let's say, 800, 800 meters each. Yep. And like you're 100 meters behind me, but that last 100 meter burst, you're running on 50 meters and you gain a lot of ground on me. If we go up to yeah, for sure. 1,500 meters, then yeah. we are making a lot of yes. ground on <laughs> yeah. You're making a lot of ground on me, so you'd be more inclined to... T- I'd be more inclined to tip you because yep. I'm getting gas at the end, whereas you're getting stronger towards the end. Right. Yeah. So, and you by by understanding sections, you can understand how for, uh, you know how yep. well the horse can be in the last 400 meters basically. per se. Yeah. Oh, you got to okay. basically interlink those two, as well as timing. So you got to have a feel of the horse. If you don't have feels of the horse or the industry or the jockey or the race, the tempo, then you're basically stuffed in a way. Yeah. Right. Feel is a big thing. Gut feel got to trust your instinct so yeah. yeah so it's a very instinct kind of game yeah. as well and the other variables that you said those three it was a that was the third one oh, that was the, the, was the fourth one yeah um, <laughs> the fourth one was let's say timing yeah timing sectionals yeah speed maps yes uh timing timing so that's what yeah timing sectionals sectionals visual visual those those are the main those three yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> <The other one. laughs> that's okay that's all good bro but i'm, I'm assuming there's like how competitive this this industry is, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, with other, like, um, tippers out there as well, is what, is that what you yeah. would call well, them? Yeah, there's like, heaps I, of other tippers out there. Yeah, because yeah. I, know, I know that. Uh, I see I see ads for this dude. I don't know, like, Tom Waterhouse yes. or whatever. He's a big, big one. Big competition. He's, yeah. he's like the pinnacle of this industry. Like, yeah. that'd be like a dream job for me in, you know, 5, 10, 15, however long it takes. That'd be, that'd be like the dream, basically. So Yeah, to, yeah. to all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, when you when you give out your tips and all that kind of things, and sometimes it's just not a good week, and mm. like, how do you how do you manage that? Because like, w- when you when when I, when we spoke earlier, I, like I feel like judge like um, opinions matter to you the mm-hmm. most, and judgment as well from other people. Yeah. Like, how do you manage that? Well, it's it's not easy because obviously when you go for a losing week, you put that much time and effort into it. Mm. It you know it's really disheartening because you know you people's money on the line basically of you're course. losing you're losing you know thousands of people's hard-earned money so yeah. it's not easy and it's not easy putting on a happy face and saying hey yeah you know, i'm confident we can make that money back next week because sometimes you're not really yeah because sure. there's no guarantees in this game anything could really happen at any given time yeah but um do you have, do you have disclaimers and all that kind of stuff around yeah yeah in a way, but um Probably, I would suggest yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> to, to implement that yeah, bro, yeah. because obviously to save you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, because like you know, some people are just a bit crazy yeah, out here, yeah, man. Yeah. They they can do anything. They do they yeah. can do crazy shit as soon as they you know like if if they're not you know if, especially people that have addictions yeah. and whatnot. Mm, of course. I yeah, mean, they can do yeah, yeah. Just crazy stuff. But yeah, in saying that, continue. continue. Like how, how to manage? How do I manage? Yeah. Well, obviously, self doubt. You have a lot of self doubt. I, yeah, I, for sure. I have I a lot of self doubt. I know, like if you if you don't have yeah, self doubt, sure, you're lying to yourself, basically. Yeah, for sure, man. You always feel insecure, and yeah, especially same. when you're running a business, man. Yeah. like it's all you're by yourself. Yeah, when you go time. through a couple of bad weeks, you're like, yeah. There's either two ways to look at it. You're like, I'm doing things right, but things aren't falling my way, or yeah. I'm doing things wrong, 
and that's that's a bad side because when you're yeah. down yourself you're down your tips and you're down the way you're running things then yeah you're in a bit of a pickle you've got to sort of step away and look at the yeah of course bro yeah and i'm guess i'm assuming you have to you know change your whole strategy yeah again and all of that course. Con- you have to keep evolving we yeah. get left behind <laughs> <laughs> has there anybody like uh one of your clients like ever like you know been mad at you for oh. for <laughs> is that is that a like common thing oh yeah of course what you do with? always like yeah you know if, if they're not mad then you know like people gonna be mad they're losing yeah, money if you're course, not mad then 100%. you know you're probably not even human like yeah, i'm mad sure. at myself when i give them losers because i don't want to yeah. do that i want to because obviously if they're not making money i'm not making money that's how my business is structured mm-hmm. try and be as fair as possible with that and um yeah yeah, there's a lot of mad people, a lot of nasty stuff being said. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would imagine. Do you like uh, deal with? How, how do you deal with like, um, you know, with all that energy, bro? Like you, 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 you pretty much, you know, are putting the people's money on the line mm-hmm. and like dealing with so many other people. Do you have time for yourself and just to do things? Yeah, yeah, it's time for myself, and yeah. you know, I have a lot of close friends that I do a lot of things with That's behind good. the scenes and stuff like that. It's really. Uh, it's hard to sort of have like a work life balance, but yeah. I'm starting you, to still trying to still trying to figure yeah. out what that is exactly. Cool. But um, yeah, I think everyone needs that. So. Yeah, cool. But you know, if you enjoy your work, which I do, then it doesn't really feel like work. The only time when it feels like work is on those that that <laughs> that, that those Thursday and that Friday just feels like it's crazy. hell basically. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone's just hitting you up and you're doing this, you're doing that, you're trying to write and yeah, yeah, it's very busy. So even on the Saturdays when things are happening and all that kind of stuff. You're Saturday pro- is a good day, just but at the same time, it's a bad day. It can be a good day, it can be a bad day because that's when all your work's basically getting shown. Right. So basically, all your yeah. tips are running. So that's when the pressure's really on, you know? Yeah. But at the same time, if you're winning, you relax, you're having fun, you're kicking back. But Saturday's a day where I can just sort of relax and watch the races. So with like all that kind of... Are you, uh, are you doing other hustles and all that kind of stuff on the side and whatnot? Yeah, so um, I I name dropped him recent just uh before. Right. So yeah, my friend from Melbourne. Oh, that um, guy. Yeah, that, yeah, guy, yeah. that guy. That shout, guy. Shout out shout to, that to that guy. guy again. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's got a lot of airtime. He'd be he'd be loving himself right now. Um, oh, bro. Be touching himself. Yeah. Um, no. Um, no. Uh, hopefully, there's no kids listening. No. Um, <laughs> it's alright, bro. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my dad is, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, he um, he created an idea a couple of months ago, which was a horse racing merchandise industry right or uh, horse racing merchandise right and i was really pissed off myself how i didn't think of that myself so i was like yeah. you know fuck it i need to buy it <laughs> yeah yeah so, um, for sure so i bought into it so that's uh the next big adventure so um so tell me about that basically it's just a clothing company in a way for, for, for horse racing for oh ho- like for actually horses. so oh, for horses for horses like, yes right. for plenty for, of horses for, <laughs> well, maybe not just one <laughs> horse <laughs> we're gonna go bankrupt <laughs> if it's just one horse <laughs> but um it's just anything like you know do you watch any sport yeah, sure. There we go. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. A sport. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. Basketball. Uh, basketball. Bas- let's go with okay. let's go with basketball. You know, like just a LeBron t-shirt or yeah. a Kawhi oh, okay. t-shirt or a Harden yeah. or you know, yeah. Doncic or whatever you want to. Basically, just horses. So are you gonna basically put like uh, the names of horses on people's shirts? Yes. Cool. That's the plan, and then hopefully, yeah. um, sort of sell them out at um tracks and online yeah. website, and you know, I think there's a big um big hole in the industry. Yeah. And I feel like it will interlink really well with what I'm doing now with. Campbell's Gambles. So right. So you're going to pretty much sell merch and whatnot. Basically. That's cool. Yeah. So I then I, I want to also like sell merch with um, Campbell's Gambles because yeah. a few people have asked for merch recently, even though we're not that big. But, big, um, but yeah, I'm but pretty sure people respect. Campbell's Gambles merchandise. Yeah. So, um, I mean, that's it, bro. I, I respect the name, by the way. Like the way that yes. it rolls. Campbell's I should shout Gambles. out to my boy, um, Nahulin. <laughs> Nahulin, yeah, I, uh, you, 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 you're, you're mad. <laughs> you're mad. <laughs> you're mad, bro. Well, he came up with the name, I'd say. So, um, you know, he gets like 50% of the business. No, 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 yeah, he came up with a name. Uh, so you didn't come up with it. So oh, he like, of course, I didn't come up with anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Pretty but, much um, you just roll with everything. I just roll with anything. If someone's, That's cool. <laughs> I like to uh, keep an, how do I say, an open mind. So if someone yes. throws me a suggestion, cool. always take it all. Take yeah. everything in. Like yeah. Shit, fuck it off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like, you know, keep the good things, obviously. So. Yeah, for sure. Um, With the whole tipping and all that, kind of, I, I, I heard from a little bird that you know the the even the the radio hosts and all that kind of stuff kind of shout you out as well yes how how's that another like, shout out yeah, another yeah, shout out. I, I mean shout out to those guys I if you shout out to them but uh, yeah. <laughs> uh i got a boy up in queens and uh benny if he's uh listening which who the hell knows he might yeah, he might, to, might maybe share it onto him <laughs> um yeah he got us on uh sky racing one night he knows sky racing, that's mad sky racing, yeah. yeah big basically like channel seven of the yeah, racing yeah, industry so much. um yeah, he has a connection there with the Trotters and 
Yeah, you got another trots guy to say. Oh, shout yeah. out to Campbell's Gamble's face. Say that place. again. A trotter. Tr- trotters. trotters. What, what Gallops. The, what, what the heck Gallops. is that? Trots. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> they're um, trots. <laughs> Basically, yeah. <laughs> Basically, they're little men driving a horse. <laughs> okay, so if you guys did see this, for people that are listening on Spotify and iTunes, uh, pretty much they're the guys that whip. Whip, and they're on a little, they're on a little chair. They're little on the chair, yeah. And they're behind a horse, and the horse is just <laughs> a little wheelchair, basically. <laughs> One of my friends, uh, Big Groover, another shout out. Just give me a shout <laughs> out. Yeah, shout out to everyone. I feel like we're in free right now. But, um, <laughs> you get a shout out. You get a shout out. <laughs> so, um, yeah, he used to think they were dyslexic, the poor bloke. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> so he's a bit cuckoo, but uh, he's yeah. a good guy. I'm sure he's a good bloke. Yeah, yeah. he's a good bloke. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so I used to think they were disabled, dyslexic, whatnot. So yeah. um, he called them retards. So um, right, right, a right. Testy pop there, but uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey but man, uh, you're still a growing boy, yeah. man. <laughs> but that's cool. Like yeah. being on Sky News, it's like being on TV, man. Like oh, yeah, yeah. kind of getting the shout out. Like, um, do they be, when 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 you're like when you're on Sky News and whatnot, mm-hmm. do they like shout out the business or they just shout out just the page? But the page, the page? is the business basically because that's where I right. run everything through. Yeah. Um. Hopefully, in the coming months, we're planning on building a website so um that's yeah, really like gonna proper. properly take us off to the next level and everything can be automized and pretty professional in a way yeah. right now it's not unprofessional but we're not really using our full potential right how are you currently marketing your business right now <laughs> what do you mean by that <laughs> like are you promoting that promoting yeah uh, the in, business like on social media or yeah. are you you know are you going on ads or anything yeah. well everything's social media based so everything's on instagram and facebook so right. basically yeah uh when i first started i didn't put any money into the business and i was didn't put any money into it so basically everything was just off basically free marketing as in running competitions getting people to tag that's other good people, man stuff yeah like yeah that. for so sure obviously you have to do your research on anything but i researched how to grow a social media page and that's one of the first things that came up so i decided yeah, cool. to run a few competitions prize giveaways yeah you know when anyone sees money and yeah do is tag a mate yeah of put course a prediction in yeah it's pretty out. easy it's like a little <laughs> five second thing so that was that but now obviously you have to start putting money back into it so we're obviously yeah, course, facebook bro. ads and yeah. instagram ads and all that stuff <laughs> yeah that's right bro you can you can lip that <laughs> if, you <want. laughs> if you want man if you're into that <laughs> I'll, I'll, resp- I'll, I'll make sure i yeah. won't wash it for I'll the next person that comes <laughs> um but yeah so like do you have a team now and all that kind of stuff as well yes. are, you, are you still by yourself oh no no i've got a team we've got a business partner that's um, mad good yeah got a business partner um have people also sending me tips and then me posting them onto the platform so i have a yeah. trots guy so benny yeah. All the rest are basically under aliases. So I've right. got a got a country horse racing guy. I focus on city horse racing. I've got a, myself, city, Benny, Trots, uh, country horse racing guy, NRL right. guy, uh, esports guy. Esports. <laughs> esports, esports guy. Esports guy. Hong Kong guy. Um, right. Hong Kong. We're, Hong we're Kong, out in Hong, Hong Kong, Kong as well. We're out in Hong Kong going international. Um, Damn. We out but, here. Um, we're out here. We're out here, fam. And then I have a... USA horse race. Typical. So you're doing US as well. We're doing US. So um. Damn. So you're covering pretty much a, a lot of other tips that are not just horses. Yes. As well. Cool. But uh, the big, how do I say, disclaimer in a way. Yeah. We are <laughs> going to be introducing greyhounds. 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 Everyone's been asking for it, and it's finally coming. Hopefully yeah. in the next two to three weeks, maybe yeah. even a week. We'll see um how the whole process is with that. But um yeah, for sure. Greyhounds are coming. Interesting. Woof woof. Wolf, wolf. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so, are you the only researcher, or is there other people? Oh, like no, all those guys I mentioned. Tips as well. Sorry about that. That was a very uh, loud disturbance. That's okay. um, continue. Uh, as I was saying, like all the guys I just mentioned, there they all do research. They mm. pass on their research, and I just post it off on the page. So um, yeah. So hopefully, in future, I can get them into paid products. Basically, products is a bit, <laughs> bit uh bit strong word but um, yeah yeah but sure. um, basically yeah paid products yeah so then i can obviously give them more money and mm. not just give them like little you know tim tams and pizzas and you know little yeah, things yeah, obviously sure. <laughs> i want to give them a bit more money because they put a lot of hard work in and they um you know de- they deserve everything that they got coming for them hopefully and yeah for sure i was just gonna get the results up and also yeah. get a bit of transparency within the um within within, uh, within our followers yeah, yeah for sure so you still have a pretty big you're you're pretty much establishing a big team now. Eh? Yes. Well, that's the plan. Yeah. Well, that's the thing with the gambling industry. It's so so wide and it's growing so fast mm. that you can literally bet on anything from bloody 
Azerbaijani second league soccer. Like yeah, the women's, bro. the women's like yeah. they, go, they go really fucking hard. Yeah, but, um, yeah, I would imagine. You can bet on that, and uh, someone's laughing over there. But you can bet on the weather. The, oh, weather, the weather, the weather, yes. You, you can, can bet the, on the weather. The unders and the overs on the weather. You can bet over yeah. thirty and a half degrees and under thirty and a half. That's. Good. I think they got Bulgarian <laughs> cheese rolling. They're rolling out. Damn, or something like that. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> no, that's fake. But um, I'm, oh, okay, yeah. I was gonna say, <laughs> but like it, uh, it's, it's tracing. So pretty much, you want to kind of go in the route like a business model of like sports bet or something. You know what I mean? Is is that is that in a way? Uh, opposite. Kind of. <laughs> up, you want to go We're against opposite. It. Right. So basically, there's two sides to this game. You're either a bookie, or you're a punter. We're the punters. We right. I'm looking after the punters. punters That's my yeah. job. My job is to get them beating the bad guys. We're the good. We're the good guys. Well, Even though know. they portray themselves yeah. as the good guys, they're terrible. But um, right. They yeah, take yeah. all our money. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, they probably yeah, they're, they're they're pretty, much, <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. They do. <laughs> <laughs> but um. Yeah, so that's what that's my my job is basically finding when they make errors because they make errors they can't can they can't um basically they can't have as many people employed for them they'll be losing money so they can't track every single event that's happening around the world because yeah. you can bet on anything as we were just saying yeah so they can't control that they can't they're gonna hire someone for bloody you know like Chinese third division soccer like yeah no for point. sure yeah of course so um that's when I need to uh, find the mistakes obviously I don't go there but like within horse racing. Yeah, you know. you'll, you'll find like yeah. mistakes and whatnot. Yeah, interesting. So when it comes to um, uh, like dealing with the horses mm -hmm. and uh, managing, uh, just out of curiosity as well, like uh, I know there's a lot of uh, social people out there probably listening and don't like horse racing because of the cruelty and all that kind of yes. stuff. Do you do? You, does that do like have a stand on that? Yeah. Do you have do a stand, stand on, on that, that, bro? Like, um, well, my opinion is probably a bit biased because I'm within it. And yeah. If I course. didn't have horse racing. Yeah. My business would effectively be yeah. gone, or like, or yeah. I'd have to expand into other areas such yeah. as NRA film and whatnot. Yeah. Um, personally, I feel like horse race horses get treated the best out of any horse. Mm. Uh, ho horses. 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 <laughs> I was going to say, horses is a word. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, I feel like they get treated the best because obviously owners, they pay a lot of money for their horses so they right. get the best treatment possible. Yeah. Um, you know, I'd much rather be a horse in a stable getting fed, cared, watered, patted yeah. down every single day than a wild horse mm, fighting for, sure. for their own, making their own food, not making their own food, finding their own Find food. food. <laughs> yeah. Finding a sore horse out there with arms and legs trying to make their own food. Um, just casually, yeah, like just casually digging out carrots and, and stuff. Like <laughs> but um, yeah, um, I feel like they get treated the best. Um, no, you good. know, they get whipped a little bit. Yeah. But, um, you know, a little bit of punishment for all that joy, success of course. and love is... Is still there as well, yeah. You know I mean, <laughs> I'm sure there's some tender love and care out yes. there for the horses. Our the horse is good enough, and he runs fast enough. You don't get whipped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't, they don't, yeah. No, but they have they have certain um titles and how much you can actually whip the horse. So it's not like it's going through. Oh, is that a thing as well? Yes, like in I, horse I don't know the exact number of whips you're allowed, but I think it's I think it might be eight to ten. How do they the even know that? Oh, that the stewards are really tired. Oh, the stuff. right, right. So it's you actually other people over whip the horse. Damn. So they take care of it. all these animal activists. I don't know and. We yeah, don't see yeah. any animal. I don't think they realise there's horse racing every single day of the bloody year. Like the only day there isn't horse racing is on bloody Christmas Day. Yeah, but there's yeah. horse racing on Easter. There's horse racing on the Queen's uh, birthday. Well, like whatever public holiday what you the, want. The, yeah, exactly. Yeah, on Boxing Day there's horse racing. Yeah. But for some reason, always animal activists they always come out Melbourne Cup because they think that's the only bloody there's horse bloody, race. But nah, there's like but every, every other single day. Every bloody day. So um. Yeah. You know, and they don't really have the. Well, I feel they don't really have the. No I don't want to go against anyone, but I don't feel they have the knowledge or the understanding of. How so much love and care just, is actually yeah, in the industry. They just see what it is yeah. and what happens at you know the end result yeah. and they make that judgment. The only thing with ho the only thing that I'm not against but yeah. is a bit cruelsome is when they have the jumps racing. Because that's when the, oh, the hurdles the hurdles. Yeah, yeah. That's when horses can actually fall down <laughs> and break their certain things. I should be laughing, down. man. <laughs> <laughs> Horse <laughs> died the other day, bro. What the <laughs> <laughs> no, I've seen I've seen yeah, that, well, that, that happen and like with horse racing, trip and whatnot. Yeah, I I I haven't I, I, not many horses really die on track like yeah. maybe like one every week or month well, I don't really know the statistics towards that but yeah. with, with jumps that's a bit more risky risky yeah, that, yeah that's doesn't really bother me but yeah you know if, if I was going against anything that's probably the thing you mm. go against interesting have you invested into these horses and whatnot no I haven't invested into horses um, no, at all not yet um, is that a, is that a future towards, plan yes of, mm. like obviously own a horse and you can call the horse your own yeah, that's Basically, true. Basically, if it wins a horse, <laughs> no, ah. yeah. like winning money off a horse is good, but like winning money off your own horse is probably a better taste feeling. But um, of course, no, no 100%. horses yet. 
Uh, is it w- or anything else like uh, like the dogs or anything? Is that dogs? It? Yes, Greyhound yeah. invested Greyhound. recently. So um. Oh, you have? Yes. Yeah, we yeah. Have, we have. So cool. Um, How, how's that? That is good. Uh, he's little boy. Um, yeah. Is his name Little Boy? His name is Little Boy. <laughs> no, <laughs> we are yet to name the dog. His name is unknown. Unknown. So, I like um, that. <laughs> his name is not unknown. No, no. But, um, <laughs> you know, so, but, um, yeah, that's, that's something that I want to get down because uh, I don't know. I, I feel like if anyone's out there that actually wants to either purchase a dog, horse, trot or whatnot, mm. I think dogs are the best to do because they're just so much more affordable than horses right so if there's any young kids 18 19 20 year olds that want to have a little investment little fun yeah then dogs the way to go you can get it anywhere from 5 10 15k right damn which is a lot but when you think about it, it sounds a lot like, man like yeah. just pulling out 10 15 well, you can buy shares in it so you can only like you know 10 percent oh right like, 1K, like, like little small things so it's pretty know, much like a stock basically Right, but our dogs be the best. Yes, <laughs> I know. I know you're <laughs> but not being buyers or anything. No, but of course not. <laughs> yeah, I'm losing my bank money on it. So <laughs> yet, but, um, yeah. Oh my god, what's the worst like um, experience in terms of your like a losing streak for you? <laughs> um, uh, losing streak. Yeah. Uh, Pre Melbourne Cup Pre last Melbourne. year. Melbourne how Cup. how'd that go? That went terrible. Uh, yeah, really want to forget about that time <laughs> if I could. Uh, <laughs> that was really bad because. I don't know, it was my first official year doing it. Like, I'm, oh, I'm right, entering my second year now. Yeah. I probably started doing, yeah, b- basically May 2019, I started doing this. But that was my first year experiencing the full year as as a full, basically. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And what I realized was after Melbourne Cup, generally the races start to drop off and mm. the quality of races starts to get lower. Then yeah. obviously it builds through autumn again. But yeah, I was just making a lot of... You know, just mistakes, and it was just really disappointing because I was losing a lot of people. Yeah, of course. And um, it was a tough period, but um, you know, just new mindset to twenty twenty. So um, yeah, 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 for sure. But um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I can like just talking to you today, bro. Like I can see like this development that you've you've experienced over the like the last two years, man. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, it's probably not long that you've been doing this. Like you know, two two is not long. But like seeing you from going from you know, um having a, a, a very dramatic thing in your life mm-hmm. and like seeing you now bro like it, it's it's a big it's a big jump w- yeah. w- where where you've been and whatnot yeah so how do you how do you see like uh yourself right now where do you see like and where do you see yourself in the future in doing this well, i mean it's a very right interesting now question i'm i'm content with where i'm at you are not, cool i'm not happy yeah that's cool because i respect that i don't, I don't know if i'll ever be happy i think i'm just one of those people that I've just for some reason I don't think I'll ever be happy <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm pretty laid You're back and casual something. but I'm like always trying to chase something and I'll yeah. never truly feel like I've succeeded until I've like basically done in a way like I've retired or stuff like that so um, yeah. I don't know I'm happy where I'm at now but um, I obviously want to get to um, I'm happy with not where I'm at now I'm happy where I've your progress progressed yeah because yeah. there was a time in my life where Things could have went down the wrong path and they didn't. So I'm glad they didn't. And I'm glad I came out the other side. Thanks to my mother and people close to me that have really helped me through mm. it. Shout out to your mum. Shout out to mum. If mum's yeah. listening, which I doubt it. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, but, um, for sure. Yeah, she's a big supporter. Uh, <laughs> does she, yeah, does she really support what you do and, and whatnot? Yeah, well, she basically got me into it. But um, yeah, yeah, another, sure. thing, another thing that got me into it is um, her side of the family, her uh, grandfather. So my great-grandfather was a horse trainer and he won the 1931 Melbourne Cup. So 1931. 31. So it was crazy. What's that 89 years ago? So um wow. Melbourne Cup it beat Farlap, which many horse racing fans yeah. might know and you might even know yourself maybe yeah, because yeah. it had a big heart. A and big heart. Yeah. yeah, the, the, yeah. <laughs> Basically that's what people <laughs> remember <laughs> from it literally <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally <laughs> it had a big heart. <laughs> um, so yeah, beat that horse before it went over to Melbourne uh, America and died. Yeah, right. <laughs> sour. Um, rest, rest in peace, rest man. in peace, by that. Um, <laughs> yeah, hundred so, percent. Um, yeah. in, in terms of like watching like the new upcoming horses and whatnot, is there is there any horses that people should be looking out for or or other dogs right on now? The spot. Yeah, dogs. Are our dog in one year time. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, it's got to win everything, uh, <laughs> which it will. <laughs> which it will. <laughs> Hold yeah. me to that. Um, horses right now. It's really a bit of a. How would I say? It's a bit of a dry period in horses right now yeah. because we have the Queensland Winter Carnival which is coming up which is 
a plus, but then after that, it just drops off and it's a bit of a drop period now. Yeah. Is um, there like an on and off? Like yes. Kind Spring of and autumn are the two big ones. Yeah. Um, and then it just sort of drops off. Winter, we go to Queensland. Summer, it's just all over the place, really. Summer's, that's when I had my down drop through summer. Yeah. I uh, just didn't really know what to do. And I just went a bit too crazy. And it's, just too, it's just too much going on. Yeah, somewhat, but there's just, it's just, um, <laughs> um, it's just, just the quality, as I was saying before, the yeah. quality just drops off, just all the good horses, because horses are, you know, creatures of habit, you know, you can't continue running the horse, it's got to get tired, yeah, so, so you obviously like got to put it away and then yeah. have it relax for like a couple of months and come back, Yeah, which right. they call taking it to the paddock, which you probably have never heard no, of. No. No, you wouldn't no. even care. <laughs> 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 no, I do, it's, but, um, these terms are really interesting. Yeah. Probably like, you know, take it to the paddock, yeah. cause it's when I when yeah. I meet some other guy. You know? well, yeah, take it to <laughs> <laughs> if there's one horse that people want to look out for. Yeah. I was looking over the races on the weekend and there's this one horse that ran really well in the victory stakes on the weekend at Eagle Farm. Going to Who's Eagle Farm at? Eagle Farm is in Queensland. Queensland, right. So in two weeks' time, we've got the Stradbroke Handicap, which is a group one at Eagle Farm. They're yeah. going up 200 metres. This horse is called Tie Zone. He's currently Tyzone, yeah. 15 to 1. And he's getting, Damn, the, he's getting the tab out of the three six five. Yeah, he's fifteen dollars right now, and I, I really like the way he's been closing off his last two runs. And yeah. he's ready, he's prepared. Yeah, fifteen to one is really good. Fifteen to one is good odds. You know, that's yeah. um, you know, you put dollar on, you get fifteen back. You put a hundred yeah. on, you get. <laughs> um, so um, I think that horse is going really well, and it's going yeah. timing, timing. It's going uh twelve hundred twelve. Is that a na- Is that the name? No, that's oh, okay. That's why I like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, cool. It's, it's, it's gonna be third up at fourteen yeah. hundred, going up two hundred meters. So that's a big tick, and yeah. it has been absolutely rocketing home its last two runs. So Damn. I cannot wait to see it in two see weeks' them. time. Hopefully, yeah. you know, there's a tip for you in two weeks' time. <laughs> <That's> yeah. <it. laughs> so, um, yeah. Nah, Hopefully, it draws a good gate and a good jockey gets on. Yeah. Or I lose all my money. Um, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, I heard you don't really put your tips. Mm-hmm down and all that kind of stuff is is there a certain reason why you you do that yes yeah, somewhat um i used to bet a lot yeah. but um you know i don't bet as much as i used to i still have a bet here and there but um you know my job's not to win myself money my job's to win other people money, money. and yeah, if people fair. want proof of me putting money down then there's previous proof of me putting money down and if they really want people me putting money down i'll put my own put money down, down. Yeah. if they really say to me jason put your own money down this horse and I'll like, okay, fine, I'll be transparent with them and I'll say, okay, there you go, there's my money. But, yeah. you know, my job my job title is not to win myself money. I'm not a professional gambler. Remember, exactly. I'm a tipper. Yeah, I yeah, wouldn't yeah. even call myself professional, professional. not yet, yeah. but <laughs> I know you call me that. So that's, a big, yeah. that's a big, <laughs> that's a big, um, big ups. Yeah. <laughs> big ups. <laughs> I forgot the word. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I know but, what um, you're talking about, but... <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah. Big claim. But yes, big claim. Word, yes, but... um. No, my job's to tip people winners, not to make my own money. It's to make them money. So Yeah, for sure. And that's the reason why you just, you know, you yeah. focus solely yeah. just on the research. Yeah. So other people can can win, 100%. obviously. Um, if you had a horse and, like, you already bought your horse and all that kind of stuff, yes. what name would it be? Because I know these, these names are crazy, man. These these names are wild. Jeez. Some of them are, like... The most randomest names yeah. you could ever. Can I shout know? out my bird. <laughs> no, yeah, you can shout out your bird, no, no. bro. <laughs> got a bird called Midnight Kebab, so that's a good name. <laughs> <laughs> Midnight Kebab, that's crazy. I love so that. Basically, one of my birds, um, really close to me, Aqua. Um, he yeah. died of cancer last year, so ah, rest, rest in, in peace, peace Aqua. Aqua man. My mum bought him for me on my fifth birthday, so we had him for <laughs> thirteen years. <laughs> that's a long time. Yeah, man. so um, tragic, bought him when he was four, four weeks old, so he. He was like my best friend, basically, in that Damn, way. Damn, he lived a good life. He man. lived a great life, yeah. So, um, yeah, for sure. So when he died, um, our other bird, we're like, we need another bird. So I'm like, okay, went down to the shop, bought a bird. Yeah. On the way back, it was a bit late. Bought a kebab, midnight kebab. Bang. That's now midnight, midnight kebab. kebab. And yeah. he's, little, he's a little weird. <laughs> fuck, but, um, oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> but that's his name. Uh, horses? Oh, I don't know. It's a tough one. Yeah. Nah, oh, nothing that comes off the top of my head. Maybe something I mean, weird. Midnight Snack is pretty cool Midnight as well. Snack. <laughs> Midnight Snack is cool HSP as well. HSP or something, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Kick-ons? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love there's it. There's some really terrible names out there that are just... What's the worst name that you've ever come across? <sighs> nothing off the top of my head, but there's just... There's just some really, really bad names that are... Uh, they're just like really revealing. Yeah. But oh, okay. you can't um, swear or you can't... Use any profanity. Yeah, it's, it's like lines for the boys or stuff like that. Yeah. Like, there's, like, there's, like, there's like, I don't know what it is exactly. There's yeah. some dog called something like that. And it's like, oh, geez. Lines for the boys. Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing, bro. Um, so when it comes to like um, all these 
uh, tipping and all that kind of stuff, right? Is there a point where you've you're just so fed up with like um, doing all this research and all that kind of stuff, and you just don't like you just can't be bothered for a week and be like, hey, hey guys, there's no tips for a week. Has that has that has does that come across like a lot? Or I don't. No, I've never had that. I I I feel that is a sign of weakness in a way. Okay. Cool. In in my in my terms, obviously, yeah. some things can get too much and you have to step away. Of course. But since I've been doing it this whole um, year. Oh, I haven't I haven't had a break in terms of that. I might have a yeah. break on a Wednesday, but I still Saturday's still a day where I um just continue doing it. But there's people yeah. different, so I'm not of course. There's people yeah. that have breaks every three months, every six months or whatever they need if they need a one one week off. But you know, whatever works for the person. But um Yeah. I don't feel like I'm at a stage in my career yet to deserve a break. Right. But maybe in two years, three years, five, ten, however long time, maybe I can give myself a couple of weeks off. But um Yeah. I don't deserve a break yet. I need to keep working. Love that. Love a hustle. Yes. Bro. I respect that, man. Yeah. I mean, you got to do what you got to do yeah, in terms of if you want to get to where you want to be yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Um, but with like all these, all these, t- uh, with all these tips and whatnot, um, do you believe that you know you can be like the next Tom Waterhouse or something like that? Yes. Yes and no. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to be Tom Waterhouse. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bad. cool. No, nah, that's I wanna, cool. I, I respect my, that. I don't want to follow his path. Yeah. But um obviously it's it's not it's not I'm not in the right place to say, you know, mm. that I can get to his level because I'm nowhere near his level yet. Yeah, for but, sure. But um respect. You know, you always gotta stay grounded. St- yeah. Stay humble about it. And yeah, you know, of course. If, if I get a, too much of a big ego and a big head about myself, yeah. Which a lot of my friends know I have. But um Hey man. <laughs> you keep that with your yeah, close you friends. Keep that. <laughs> keep that they know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> they know who they are. <laughs> but um so um no, I, I don't wanna I, I wanna make my own destiny, my own journey and I wanna not be better but just be different. I don't wanna follow anyone's path. Obviously I have my own mentors and people teach me certain things and yeah. there's 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 um there's life lessons that I learn along the way, but um, you know, hopefully in five years time or so I can have a similar subscription base, li- base thing as he does, and yeah, yeah, that's the plan. H- interesting that you said mentors and all that kind of stuff. How do you, uh, you know, find these guys? Uh, or did they find them, you? Some, yeah, some of them found me. Um, there's this guy at Sky Racing. Uh, his name's Brad Davison. Hmm. Um, when I was going through my punt hub streak, he joined the page. Um. And my first tip lost on punt hop, and I was getting it from left, right, and center. So everyone was, um, <laughs> everyone hated me for that day. And he came to me and he said, "Hey, mate, I was on that horse too. It looked a really good thing." Blah blah blah. Um, so he really came. He came. He found, came to found me you. And at the time, I was like a bit of a bit, bit of a fan girl. I mean, I would too. I was a bit of a fan girl. I would too, man. You know, it's just, like, just like I don't know. Do you have any celebrity crushes or anything? No, yeah. I would say celebrity crush a bit too much. Um, yeah. <laughs> but like, you know, like, it's like, like people you, you know, really like respect. LeBron James coming to DMs or something yeah. like that. Like I really respected like, him like really highly. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, that guy's in my DMs texting yeah. me. Yeah, exactly. And then I was like, I was like, damn, I respect your work so much, man. I always watch your work on TV. Mm. I think you're one of the best in this field. And basically since then, he's, you know, he's given me his number. Um, I've hey. always had the opportunity mm. and he's always had the time for me. Yeah, for sure. So he's not like it's not like he's literally taking me under his wing. Like yeah, of course. Like, but any time I need, I could text him right now, and he'd get back to me with you know just. And obviously, yeah. I hope that with I can anything, help. Anything I'm yeah, assuming. Basically, mm. so yeah, he's been a big one, and then just like other people out there. Not to name anyone in particular, but like he's probably the main one. But um, yeah. there's other people out there, just little life lessons, and you just, you just basically what I try and do is like sort of hybrid myself and take a note out of everyone's book. Yeah, and then sort of form my own opinion on it. Yeah, and then go with it. So that's the guy that that's what I see. Hey man, I respect Amen. that so much, honestly. Because like with a with a mentor and all that kind of stuff, that will really boost you yep. into you know where you want to yeah. be. And like you need mentors, and I yeah. hope that I can be a mentor for people in the future. Maybe I've already mentored people, but who knows? Yeah. they're out there. Maybe hopefully. Yeah, <laughs> one day. But anyways, bro, just uh, we're gonna wrap this up now because we we almost reached an hour. Thank yes. you, and I and I appreciate well, that. I don't man. shut up. You don't shut up. <laughs> hey, bro, that's that's the best thing about this. <laughs> that's the best thing about the podcast, man. But thank you so much, bro, for giving me this insight yeah. about like the industry, like not not the gam like the gambling industry, but more or less of like the the the, the work and hustle you put into this mm-hmm. as well cuz i feel like you know uh there's a there's a stigma behind you know uh people uh, uh what tippers what do you, you call tippers say so yeah yeah <laughs> i'll say so like you guys have like maybe a bad rep because yeah. of you know like you know you guys are 
pushing gambling, but really it's not. You know, it's at the end of the day, it's people's choices. Yeah, hundred percent. That's what it's I say. People's choices. Yeah. Well, simple as that. I don't really need to add too much towards that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you um, it on the head. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and and <laughs> <laughs> thanks, man. Um, but yeah, that's why I, r- I really appreciate like the amount of stuff, and I, I hope like all the best for you, bro. Like. Um, Likewise. Th- yeah, thanks. Bro. I'll try to. Bro. <laughs> I'm trying my best, man. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, Jason. Yes. Uh, if you guys want his uh, tips and whatnot, uh, how do we find you? Uh, well, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Campbell's Gambles. Campbell's um, Gambles yeah, will be basically. right around here. We'll be right there for you. That just pops up, oh. doesn't it? Magically. Yeah, yeah, magically. Be right there if you guys are very interested in all that kind of stuff. But I would like to put a disclaimer: Um, gambling uh, is really bad. Yes, Um, you don't have to gamble responsibly. Gamble (laughs) responsibly, guys. Um, Thanks so much, man. I appreciate you. I'll see you on the flip side, huh? Yep. Thanks, guys. (laughs) Peace.